wanted to get some embroidery done without actually getting embroidery done. Hmm. Wishful thinking, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get it done. How you guys doing? My name is Stan Banks with T-Shirts. So I help, so I help you start T-Shirt businesses from home. Wherever you at. And in this video, we're taking a look at the latest trend in DTF, faux embroidery, right after the intro. <laughs> subscribe do all that good stuff because i make videos like this all the time man so i mean all the time listen man i made a video on this so so long ago but i didn't know exactly how to tell you guys to get it but now i gotta wait for you guys to get it so you're gonna get it today in this video right here i'm excited because we have the faux embroidery ready for you guys like i said in the intro let's just take a look at this real quick man look look at the detail let me let me make sure it's in focus right there Look at the detail on that faux embroidery right there. This is DTS latest trend. You don't need embroidery anymore, right? Like, first off, it was no weeding because you got DTF. <laughs> there was no screen print because you got DTF. Full cut, all of the stuff that you can do with DTF. Now, you can simulate faux embroidery for your customers and not charge them as much, all right? So, whether you are doing embroidery or faux embroidery, you have what they call the digitizing fee. So you still got a cost when it comes to the artwork, but nonetheless, the cost per stitch and all that kind of stuff, you can pretty much charge them just the same way you would charge them for any other DTF print, or you can add a premium on it because of the actual artwork, the look of it, the feel, that perceived value is something that you guys got. I got a left chest here, and I have a super large fullback of the Marathon Supply logo. You guys can head over to the website, click on the services. It is time to take a look at some garments. So I didn't know what to print this on, man. I didn't know what I wanted to print this on. I have a made blanks uh, long sleeve t-shirt right here that I was thinking about printing on, but I decided, nah, I'm not gonna go with that. Because this is lightweight, right? It's lightweight, but it looks like embroidery. I decided now to go with the active fleece from Circle Clothing, right? It's great to get warm again. You know what I'm saying? I might head outside in the morning, go get my little walk jog on. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't judge me for my walk. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to get myself back in shape. And with that being said, I thought about putting this on the active fleece for the left chest and then a oversized full back, which is pretty much a 15 by 15. Uh, and we're gonna see how it looks. So let's go ahead now. The press is all warmed up. Let's jump in here and see what it looks like. All right, guys, so we're at the press right now and we got it all warmed up. I'm pressing at 300 degrees. Obviously, you guys have to test to see based on your heat press where you want to press it at. But you can see the press instructions right here on the screen for Marathon Pro full color DTF transfer. So we're going to go ahead now and load up our press. I'm not going to thread this. We should get away with this pretty fine. It's rather smooth. Make sure we got it nice and even. I have my transfer rolled pretty tight. Again, check out the detail on that, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and line it up. I'm gonna go about three fingers from the collar line here. Normally I would go four, but I kind of want it a little bit higher on this one. I'm gonna make sure that it's going right down the seam here of it, about an inch off the center. That looks perfect. Just because I had this held and rolled up pretty tightly, I'm gonna throw down some thermal tape just because it's going to roll up a little bit. When you roll something tight, you may have to do that. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and give it a press. And I actually got the time wrong. I'm going to press it for 15 seconds. There we go. Now, we're going to go ahead and give it a press for 15 seconds. Nice, firm pressure. 
Man, I'm excited because this thing is gonna look really, really smooth. I can't wait to see how clean the back actually comes out looking. For the back, I am actually going to go ahead and thread it. So we're gonna go ahead and let this cool down and we're gonna give it a cold peel. Let me peel this off, we'll get without that. And I can peel this one off, forget it. So we're just gonna let it cool about 10, 15 seconds here. It's pretty warm there. Whoo! That thing looks really, really good, man. Really, really good. Y'all check this close up out. All right, so now we're just gonna give it a post press for, I got a Teflon cover or you can use parchment paper. Just gonna give it another post press for about five seconds. Uh, you can go as pretty much as long as you want. About five seconds is good. All right, that looks and feels amazing. All right, so now we got the front done. Now let's go ahead, let's mess with this oversized back. For the back, I am gonna thread it because the print is so large. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread the press up a little bit. All right, so now we got it all threaded. Let's make sure we got it nice and even. All right, we got it all even. I wanted to make sure it was really, really perfect because this is a one of one. You guys can decide if you're gonna make one of ones or you're gonna make a hundred of ones. You know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead here. Normally, I would drop this down to about five inches, but just because the text of this design actually lays a lot lower, we're gonna slide it up. So I actually I think I'm gonna slide the hoodie up a little bit more. All right, just because normally with a hoodie, you wanna be about five inches. But I think we got some wiggle room on this here. All right, now let's go ahead and line this thing up, the bat signal. Sheesh. So that should drop to about right there. Uh, when it's on, I'm gonna drop it down slightly, a little bit more. And we got the same exact press instructions as we had earlier. Making sure that's down the center. Making sure that it is even. In football terms, if you even, be leaving. I think that looks perfect. We don't need to take this time. Here goes nothing. All right, 15 seconds. We about to have the hottest hoodie in the streets. I'm trying to tell you right now. Woo, I, I ain't been this excited for a long time about a garment, I'm telling you. Let's let that cool down for about 10 to 15, and we're going to get the peeling. Woo! Yo, I'm telling y'all, if y'all need some supplies or anything, and you guys want to support me, support the community, so that we can do the things that we want to do the way we want to do it moving forward, go ahead and visit Marathon.Supply, okay? Marathon.Supply. Woo! It's almost ready. It's almost ready. Almost ready. I wonder if I should have pre-pressed. I feel a little buckle right here. Um, maybe it's something under the design or maybe it's some lint or something, but whoo, we almost there. We there. We are there. We are there. I'm taking my time just because I want to take this all in. Shit. That looks amazing. So let's go ahead now, give it a post press. Yo, I'm excited because this thing looks fire, like hot fire. All right, wait too long. I'm too busy talking, y'all. Sheesh. Let's go ahead and take a look. Take a look. It's been a minute, been a minute. Look at that. Look at that. All right, man, y'all know what I got to do. Oh, man, check that out, man. Listen. This thing looks and feels amazing. Take a look at the back. Ooh, that's perfect height right there. Probably could have went a little bit lower, but I like it because I'm not going to have my hoodie all drowsy. I like to keep it tight if I'm not on at all. But, man, look at this. Let me just... Listen, let me know what y'all think about the faux embroidery down in the comments below, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. If this is not the biggest trend in DTF... I don't know what is because DTS been trending 
Oh, wait, we do have the UV DTF that's been trending as well. But this right here, when it comes to DTF on garments, this is the new wave, man. So go ahead and get your logo prepared for full embroidery. Go visit Marathon Supply. Check it out. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, put them down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see next for Ash Stand the Man, for the reaction videos, whatever it is that you guys want, tutorials and all, put them down in the comments below. This has been your boy Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle. Peace. The T-Shirt Side Hustle team would like to give a huge shout out to its contributing members.